Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the video. We are back in West Virginia from our travels. And today is the first day since we've been back that we don't have to go to work or school. Um, so we're gonna try to catch up on some household stuff, catch up on some chores we have to do out of the house and hang out. Um, we have been go, go, going since we got home. So this morning we slept in till like 8.30 until Tiana woke up basically. It was really nice. And now I'm about to make breakfast, do some laundry. Tiana and John are watching a movie and we're gonna write our list of stuff we have to do for the day. What are you guys watching? It looks, it looks like you, doesn't it? We're watching Sea Beast, one of Tiana's favorite movies when she was three. And now she wanted to watch it again this morning. Okay, I'm gonna make some waffles while you guys watch, okay? Sounds okay. good. Oh, some waffles. Do you want whipped cream on your waffles? Yep. Are you sure you have any left? Because you and mommy like to eat all the whipped cream in one day. <laughs> We are out of whipped cream, but I'll find you something I else it. good. I knew it. Hey, I got an idea. You walk to the store and get us some whipped cream. Please. Hey, wait, how about what you do to me? Watch. Please. No. No. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work on you? No. no. I want to <laughs> There it is. I told you. We'll take whatever you make, babe. We appreciate you. Thanks, guys. I'm going to get the laundry out of the dryer before I make the waffles because I do something that I hate and I forget that I put laundry in the dryer and then it all gets wrinkly and I have to like re-dry it again. So I'm on it today. Ooh, it's still warm. So I made it in time. Now I just have to put them away before a week has passed. And I also have to put the clothes in the dryer from the washer. Now I can go make some waffles. Thank you, Angel, for bringing our food. Thanks for the waffles, man. Maybe we can take you to the museum to see the new dragon display. Mm -hmm. Would that be good? Well, if we can if we come, I would film it. Okay. Go ahead, tell the camera um, what was wrong yesterday and the day before. Here, let me trace each of you so I'm not blocking you. Uh, so it was day before and day after, and I got sick, and yeah, happy. But today you're feeling much better? Mm-hmm. Okay. The sweetest thing ever happened yesterday. And I didn't send Tiana because she had been sick with a fever the day before, so I didn't send her to school. And I text her teacher and said that Tiana was really sad to miss the Easter party. I text Miss Andrea that, remember? And then after school, we heard a knock on the door and it was Miss Andrea with Tiana's Easter basket from school. Wasn't that such a great surprise? That was really nice. Yes. I think she brought you something. Want me to show it? You want to show it to him? Oh yeah, Tiana made that. Oh. The Easter Bunny. <laughs> now it's time for John's job, which is I make the mess and he cleans it up. I was thinking like the microcosm of like a successful relationship and like just anything in life, I guess, maybe. But maybe I'm going a little deep here. It was like, I don't want to do the dishes. But nobody wants to do the dishes in a relationship, but you should want to do the dishes so that your partner doesn't have to do the dishes. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes. I was thinking about that the other day is like, that's like kind of what a relationship is or doing nice things for others. Like you don't necessarily want to do it. Nobody wants to do dishes, but you want to do them so that they don't have to. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking. You're so thoughtful, babe. I'm just thinking a lot. It know. makes sense. It makes sense. If it sense. gets quoted, you know, don't forget to tag your boy. Now that the kitchen's all clean, I wanted to take a minute to thank Care Up for sponsoring today's video and also tell you guys about the vitamins I have been taking to help me reach my health and fitness goals. Care Up offers a curated set of products that are designed to work with research backed doses. So basically, what you do is you take a quiz, tell them what your goals are, and then they provide you with a vitamin pack. What I love about them is they come in here, it's super easy. I leave 
save it by my coffee so that I never forget to take them. And then your vitamins are in here with your name on them and they're all ready for you in this convenient little pack. It's super easy to throw in your bag and take wherever you are, especially when traveling. And it kind of takes the thought out of having a bunch of different vitamins and supplements and having to figure out what to take each day. As you can see, my pack is individualized just for me, which is one of my favorite things about Care Of. Two of the vitamins that are my current favorites are ashwagandha and ceramides. Ceramides are good for your skin. They help with skin hydration and firmness. In the winter, I get really dry skin, so this is super helpful. And I'm also taking ashwagandha. I wanted to start taking this because it helps with stress and tension. Two things that I feel a lot of, I and mean, I feel like it really has helped. Care Of has really made a positive impact on my day-to-day -day routine. So if you're interested in trying them out, click right here to take your quiz and use my code SHOLER50 for 50% 50 off the items in your first order. And now it's time to do Tiana's hair. All right, so I'm gonna be doing baby girl's hair before we go out for the day. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, you trust daddy? Uh-huh. All right, so the easiest thing to do is you just Grab the whole thing like this and you just, no. well, I'm just gonna cut it off. No. no, it's easier this way. Trust me. If I just cut it off, there's not any hair to do. It's no. like, it's more efficient. No, no I still have. I'm kidding, baby. <laughs> oh, I need to take your old one out. Sorry, didn't even realize it was still in. But you have to cut it, babe. What? How else are you gonna get it out? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, when daddy does your hair, it's just faster and easier. Mommy has to use all those other tools. Daddy doesn't need to. So right now, I am spritzing in conditioner. Spritzing is very important. You don't want to soak. You don't want to lather. You want to spritz. Okay. I should have my own hair channel. You guys think that Rihanna does all those braids and stuff that you see, but it's actually it's me behind the scenes. Oh, <laughs> you tell him daddy's crazy. Whatever. All right. I kind of get that in there. I'll try to get it around the edges a little bit more. And if you guys, um, you know, the ones out there that do black hair, this is so tough sometimes. All the little like fuzzies and stuff from when she's oh, sleeping or just wrestling around on the couch. I try to get them all out, but it's not very easy. But anyway, it's okay. A little bit more in the back and we're good. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I got your back wet, a little wet. Okay. And then, I'm gonna bring it up like this, and this is where the brush comes in handy. And I'm right-handed, but I notice that when I do hand, do her hair, that I use my right hand to hold the ponytail and left hand to brush, but I'm gonna try it the other way, because this feels like not right. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, that's a little bit better. How do you think Daddy did so far, baby? Good. Thank you. All right, new hair tie. This is the hardest part for me, because my hand's fatter than Rihanna's. All right, and then one, one more. Okay, I, this one's gonna be tight. What do you think? It looks really good. <laughs> Daddy did it, baby girl. Ooh. No, I know, I know. It's just a ponytail, but give me credit, guys. Looks good. We made it out of the house, and now we're on our way to the lawyer's office because John has to sign some paperwork for house. You didn't think I could do that with my bad ankle, did you? That was you? really good, actually. Yeah. That was easy. That was a uh, new purchase or a new flip. So we just had to come sign the documents and now I take the check to the bank. We start the rehab, flip it, and reverse it. Did you like that? Yeah, that was really good. Okay. Also, yeah, you're on it I'm today, on it. huh? I'm on it. Um, but I haven't even had a coffee yet. Maybe I shouldn't drink one. I know, I like you, you got the energy in Maybe there. Maybe I need double energy. Taylor right. Books? Yep. One thing I really like about living in Charleston is where we were just parked. It's technically not a parking space, uh, but the city is like so small and like just operates this way that you just pull up, put your hazards on or don't if you don't want to and run in and people just drive around you. If you did that, and remember when we lived in San Francisco in LA? Oh yeah. I feel like, I feel like as soon as you got out of your car, like right there, the tow truck would have hooked up and Or they gave up. you a $200 ticket. Yeah, I remember the parking tickets. That was another thing. It was like the parking tickets were like $85 to $115 or something like that. 
for just like if, it, if your meter expired. But here in Charleston, the first time I got a ticket, I was like, oh no, because we came from California. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I got the ticket off the little windshield wiper and I was like, $5? <laughs> That's almost worth just parking wherever I want. Yeah. <laughs> they have upped it to 10, but I still think you know, did they? Cheap. They did. I they haven't gotten tickets since then. I've gotten a couple. What? No, because I was like, what? I guess it makes sense. All right, so uh, I was just saying, like, you can park wherever you want. They do ticket at the courthouse, and I go to the courthouse a lot for the auctions and stuff. So I get I get a couple. It's okay, though. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. She's leaving. We get a good spot. I hate when people get in their car, and they turn it on, and then they don't leave. You're about you know to hate I mean? it even more. Why? Wow. Because I think it's a 15 minute spot. How long are we going to Taylor for? More than 15 minutes, probably. What's the spot right after that? Are they both 15 minutes? I don't know. All right, this one's 15.30. Oh yeah, that's you good. think 30's good? good? Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm winning today, okay? Don't try, don't kill my vibe. Okay? Don't even try it. So I went to get out of the car, you know? I was, I was vibing a bit. Stop. I was excited for my coffee. And she said that she had to put on makeup. No, my wife never puts on makeup. I said I need to put on mascara because I look a little tired because I feel like I've been chronically sleep deprived lately. Babe, you look beautiful no matter what. You don't need makeup. Thank you. Points for me. I'm always getting points. Hey, you're not on a phone playing games, are you? Tiana Haven Scholler. Can I have some? Yeah. Oh, don't, don't, don't. I already have, I already have pretty, <laughs> Long eyelashes. You and Tiana have great eyelashes. I have none. I feel like you shouldn't get that close to me ever. Uh, you used most of our 30 minutes in this parking lot. Don't no, we didn't know. start yet. It starts when you get out, right? I there. think it starts okay, when you put the money in the... I think I look the same. <laughs> Don't fix it if it's not broken, babe. Aw, thanks, babe. All right, let's go get some coffee. Guess you have to get regular coffee. I guess so. <laughs> Where's the one at? You see any? Let me see. Was it hiding? See that? Oh yeah. Oh, I see him back there. We have not been here to Taylor Books in forever, and it's one of our favorite spots, so we're happy to be back. Um, Tiana got the kids' coffee, which is like steamed soy milk with vanilla. John got an iced coffee with vanilla, and I got a drip coffee with vanilla and oat milk. So usually we get lattes, not a big deal to switch it up today. And now we are going to play and read. And anything else you want to do here? You want to do Where's Waldo? You just want to smash that one-eyed monster. <laughs> I think we're going to do the new Where's Waldo book. See, they try to trick you by everybody wearing similar clothing. That's okay. I'm looking, baby girl. I see a seal. You see? That doesn't quite help us, does it? Mommy found him. That's kind of a cheat because it's only Waldo's head and part of his shoulder. Yeah, that was a really hard one. That was one. a hard one. Waldo was right there hiding behind the ship the whole time. And it's only his head. Pandas love green and crunchy, long and leafy. Mm. Bamboo. Bamboo. You want a fire? You want a fire? Thank <laughs> God. You better be gentle. Those are their posters. Oh. Oh. What? Mommy says we can't use them because they're not weapons. Please. <laughs> 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 Ow. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. The irony. Come here. What's that? What? We got a parking ticket. That's coming out of your Roth IRA, young lady. Yeah. <laughs> and look, I was right about $10, though. But if you don't pay it within seven days, it's 40 bucks. So. 
We should have known. How, how funny it is that? I was longer. just telling them about like we're pretty lenient around here, but you I, did say that they would give you a ticket, though. They will. They will give you a ticket. If you think about it this way, you're actually just helping take care of the city with your ticket. Yeah, money. I'm. Uh, I'm contributing as a taxpayer. Or a ticket payer. Yep. We decided to come back home to eat lunch because we have some leftovers, spaghetti and meatballs. So the truth is, is that Loopy Leaf, our favorite vegan restaurant, is no longer here. So we don't have a lot of options for lunch. Yeah, she moved to Florida, but we have spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs from yesterday. We're gonna have some spaghetti for lunch and then we need to head out to turn over the Airbnb. Where are you coming? There's your spaghetti. Are you ready? Eat do. Ready? No, you wanna No. You wanna eat it right side up? No! I do it by myself! Oh, you can do it by yourself like a big girl? Yeah. No, you're only you're just a little baby. I have to feed oh, you. Oh little baby. Do the airplane. Do the airplane. It's got to open. The airplane doesn't have anywhere to land. Beep, beep. Come on, open, open, open. <laughs> we are headed over to our Airbnb now to clean it because we had a travel nurse just to leave. Um, when we're in town, we try to clean it. And when we're out of town, we have a cleaner that does it. We also just got the carpet steam cleaned and sanitized by a professional carpet company um, because we haven't done that in like a few months. So it's going to be very nice for the next people who are about to move in. I know we announced not all the details yet, but we will be leaving the country for a period of time for Tiana's schooling. Uh, more on that to come. But Wait, we are... tell them that we're going too. Oh no, just Tiana. Like no, we're not going. no, just Tiana's going. We're, we're uh, <laughs> shipping her via what, FedEx or UPS? Which one was cheaper? DHL. Oh, DHL. We're going to ship her via <laughs> No, we are all leaving the country so Tiana can go to school in another country. More of that to come. But anyway, so what Rihanna and I have been doing lately and are continuing to do is try to put together systems and processes for things just like the Airbnb that we usually self-manage. We're trying to put together things that we can do this from abroad. And you would not believe how many things that like you have to do on a regular basis that you can't do when you're gone for months at a time. And so we're like continually making lists and the Airbnb is obviously one of them. Uh, we don't mind self-managing and cleaning it ourselves and like doing some things, but we're not going to be able to do that while we're gone. So anyway, we're going to take some lists in here, put a list together for someone to handle it while we're out of the country for a little bit. You guys guess where we're going yet? Does anybody know? We're going to have to do a video on that. Yeah, we're definitely going to do a video announcing it. Guess if you have any ideas of where you think that we're moving for an extended period of time for Tiana's kindergarten. I'm really curious. All right, so that's the new rug. You think you can carry this? Really? Okay, put your arms out. Oh, you're so strong. Got it? All right, walk that way. <laughs> so, Greg. Girl, that's impressive. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got you. Grab it a little bit lower. And there you go. You got it? Oh, you're doing so good. So every time Tiana helps us out with anything like this, we always give her a little bit of money. And uh, she said she's going to take her $20 from today and buy an iPhone. So, oh. All right. Are you okay? Oh, she's really impressing me right now. Wow. And hits the button. Okay. Wow! Impressive, baby girl. Okay. Oh, uh, you can't reach. She can reach the seven now. I know. Pick up. Go. Where is it? A um, little problem. Wrong way. Yeah, he saves the day. Yep. Push it. Oh, I got it with myself. You remember? Oh, the carpet looks so good. So actually the tenant before the last tenant accidentally, they stayed here for a little while and they actually had a stain right here. And we knew it was them because, well, these were new carpets. 
but they're really nice about it. They paid the cleaning deposit and we got the whole re carpet redone and the stain came out. So win-win. Cool, cool, cool. Damn, there you go. Oh, oh my goodness. You told yourself silly. <laughs> Okay, and then look, you're just gonna roll it that way. Oh, it matches perfect. Yeah, that's good. Wow. All right, big roll. <laughs> yeah, I have to beat it. Yeah. I just take that whole item. Oh. There you go. Take this too. It's attached. Or just put it, no, just put it up. Just like, <coughs> there you go, because we have to raise the couch too. Okay. Can't find good help anymore. Paper cut next. Say, say. This is awesome! This is awesome! Mm. Girl, you're so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna make a Tiana burrito! Hi, <laughs> Tiana! It's a Tiana burrito! Let me watch out, I'll unwrap you. Come here. Pretend right. what? Like Dippy in a burrito? Oh, dipper in the sauce. Oh, okay. In the sauce. Okay. And dipper in some barbecue sauce. Dip, dip. Ew, who dips a burrito barbecue sauce? Tiana. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time. We don't have time. It looks really good. I like it. I think so. It matches the couch cushions really well. We just need to put something right here so it can unroll. Yeah, good idea. Okay, so we just need to get the linens off the bed, get the towels she used, and sanitize everything. I hate these coasters. I know, we need I feel like I'm ones. at a Chili's, uh, like restaurant. <laughs> and that's it. I think the Airbnb is all clean, and now I think we're gonna head to the museum. Oh my goodness. I got you. Wait, did I leave a cabinet open? That's bothering me. <laughs> Turn around and close it. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now we're done. Bedroom check. Bathroom check. Kitchen check. Dining room and living room check. Other than a stinky butt on the couch. And we have to put this chair and the ottoman back after the carpet's completely rolled out. Good job, babe. Good job. She's playing a learning game, so. I yeah, no, it's too late. You're getting judged. There's nothing you can do about it. All in the comment section. Uh, people are usually nice in the comments. No, we do have the best following and yeah. we appreciate all of you. Yes. You want to carry one more thing on the way out? Yep. You got it? That's heavy too. You're going to earn that $20. Mm-hmm. Turn lights off. Got it. Thanks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go see some dragons. Thank you. My husband will welcome. You're welcome. Oh, I'm Coach sorry. You your manners. You're welcome. That's right, baby girl. Just in case you're curious, this is the apartment building that our unit is in, and it's right across from the river, which is nice. Uh, it gives everybody like a kind of cool balcony view, and it's right near the Capitol and the hospitals. We have an annual membership to the museum. It's called the Clay Center, but this is one of the best purchases we've made because if you join a museum near you and you join the annual membership, there's like reciprocity to most of the museums and children's museums like throughout the United States. So we use our membership every time we travel and get into like all these awesome places for free um, while for the cost of our membership here. And I didn't know that before, but it's like way cheaper than paying every time you go. Bad news. What? Do you have a migraine? My vision just went out. Really? So I don't know if you guys know or not, but I've suffered from migraines since I was like 11 or 12. And the first sign of one coming on is my vision goes out, like my peripheral vision goes out. I know. Like 30 minutes before, so. Do you want me to get your emergency Please. medicine out of the car? Please. Okay. I said it like it's something fancy, but it's just Excedrin. Um, but Excedrin like doesn't fix his migraines. It does help. So it makes them like more tolerable. Um, so I'm gonna go grab his Excedrin and run back inside. Usually when he gets the aura or the vision loss, we still have about 30 minutes to an hour before it actually starts to hurt. So he doesn't like to like go straight home and he doesn't like to like just sit because he said that makes it worse like earlier. Um, if that makes any sense, I've never had a migraine so I don't really know. But yeah, I feel really bad. He gets them like a couple times a month. He's had them since he was a kid and they're really awful. 
I got the medicine. We keep it everywhere. Like there's some in the car, some in our bags, like all over the place so that we never end up anywhere without it. Not that you can't just find Excedrin anywhere, but anyways, okay, now go back inside. Oh, there's the dragon display. So I was hoping that it was just like a, uh, a glare, like in my vision, but I pretty much can't see. Okay, babe, let's go, let's go. I'm sorry, babe. A Kraken. Whoa. Like this, like this, and like this. How you feeling? Luckily, the pain doesn't set in for like maybe another 20 minutes or so. Oh, look, this is cool. Wow. Which one do you like? Oh, that's a cool, that's a fire breathing dragon. All right, a little update. We had a lot of fun at the museum. The little dragon slash mythical creature display was really cool. But now we promised baby girl that if she helped us out today with the Airbnb and everything, that she could get some ice cream. Baby girl, you want some ice cream? Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. Her mouth's full of water from the water fountain. She won't spit it out or swallow it. What? You're just holding water like a camel? <laughs> <laughs> I know how to get rid of it. I know how to get rid of it. Where is that water? <laughs> uh, I have like super kitties. It's so much fun, and I got my guess with the candies. But I, I'm going to the ice cream. My mommy said, told me I have been much walking in, and I have been walking in. You did really good. And, and, I came on, and I get it, I came. They didn't have any flavors that Tiana liked, so she just wanted an empty waffle cone. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know it's very dark, but I was going to let John give you an update. And so, thank you, baby girl. I'm not doing so hot. So John's head is really bothering him now. I gave him another dose of medicine. And <laughs> Tiana's playing a video game. We should probably turn that down for the sake of his head. But I'm actually going to run to the gym and get in a quick workout while Tiana plays a video game and John sits on the couch. Um, and then we'll figure, hopefully John's feeling better, we'll figure out what we're gonna do. I'm on my way to the gym. Usually I would just take Tiana with me, but where John's not going and he's at home and she's been sick for like the past few days on and off, I figured let's not push it, just leave her at home and let her rest because if we take her to the gym, it's like she's either all out or doesn't wanna be there. She's like climbing all over everything, doing hurdles. Like she's very active. So I figured since we've been out all day, I would just leave her home and let her rest with John and play some games. Um, and they're just gonna hang out on the couch. Uh, I kind of feel a little bit bad for going still, but I'm really trying to get back on my gym routine and I didn't go this morning. So I'm just taking a little bit of time for myself. Unfortunately, it timed badly with John's headache, but he really insisted that I still go. So thank you, babe, for that. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna get a good workout in. I'll show you guys what I do. And then I think I'm gonna stop by the store and get them some surprise treats. I did really good, I'm surprised. Not too out of breath, my legs are a little shaky. Um, but I love those workouts because I always feel like I really get my energy out and really get a good like cardiac workout, cardiovascular workout without doing anything um, that takes like a super long time. So now I'm gonna go to the grocery store, get them some like drinks and maybe something for movie night tonight. Can we just take a second for everything that's blooming right now? Wow, I'm so excited for spring. I made it to the Healthy Life Market, which is like a little specialty food store here that has all the cool stuff that's not at the normal store. And um, I'm gonna try to beat the rain because it looks like it's about to downpour and I don't have an umbrella, but let's pick some good snacks. I didn't come here for mac and cheese. 
but there's a new one that I've never seen before and now I have to try it. I'm about to go to the car and show you what I got. Okay, so I got nacho cheese chips. This is like movie snacks. I got the mac and cheese that I already showed you. I got these muffins as a movie snack. They're like the gluten-free, like healthy muffins. I don't really think they're that healthy, but they're healthier than the alternative. I got some just egg for breakfast tomorrow and I got this for me. It's like a Twix. And then I got John a Powerade because it always like kind of wears him down when he has a migraine. So he likes to drink like the Powerade or something with electrolytes after. Um, and that's all I got. I think we have some popcorn at home. We're about to eat dinner. So it's not like we need that many snacks for the movie. And now I'm going to head home and see how everyone's doing. How are you doing, babe? Thanks, man. I had to take a little long shower. Oh, did it help at all or not really? A little bit. You look like I you're hurting. Like the water hit me in the head. Sorry to be a Debbie Downer on the vlog. <laughs> it's okay. I took him on an adventure. How are you, Tiana? Good. Where's your glasses? Oh, one right here. Can you put them on, please? Oh, they accidentally fell off and landed over there. <laughs> Thank Where did y'all see your new glasses? Aren't they cool? They have like the spring thing. They're like supposed to stay on our head. <laughs> We're learning about video game boundaries, huh? I opened up Pandora's box by showing her how to use the Xbox controller. <laughs> it did not end up raining. So Tiana and I came to the park to get some fresh air before cooking dinner and swing. Um, it's like 65 out and perfect. It rained like 10 drops and then it stopped. So... Okay, okay, you come down. Now you climb the mushrooms. And then you go around. And then you go over these. Yeah. And then you go down the spinny slide when you get over there. Yep, I'll meet you at the bottom. What's up there? Poop. Okay, don't touch the poop. Oh, right, come on down. There. Is it on you? Did you touch it? It just touched your shoe a little bit. In case you were concerned, it was just mulch. The mulch looks like this, and Tiana thought it was poops up there. We're the last one at the park. Yeah. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Go get some dinner. Hungry in your tummy? I was getting ready, like making dinner, and then I realized <laughs> there's a tragedy on our hands because I bought this mac and cheese, like it was in a frozen box, so I thought it was like a big, what? You wanna help me? Okay, thank you, come on. I thought it was like a big container of mac and cheese for the whole family, but it turns out it's one serving of mac and cheese for one person. One person? Yeah, this is only enough mac and cheese for one person. And that'll be daddy. <laughs> but daddy's about it, daddy was a little sick. Oh, you were really gonna give it to me? Oh. I know, but you were being really sweet. Tiana has this thing where, like, if you catch her being too sweet, she tries to take it back. But we know you're a sweet angel. <laughs> hey, wait, cook this breakfast. <laughs> Let's cook this breakfast dinner. Woo! Okay, first up, we have okay, mac and cheese. <laughs> Second up, we have tofu. Third up, we have green beans. green beans. And fourth up, we have my alarm going off to remind me of something that I probably forgot to do today, and corn in the microwave. But this? Yeah, exactly. Tiana's job is to crumple up the tofu so we can put it in the oven. This is your favorite job, because it's messy. Okay, I think that's pretty much perfect. What do you think? Not yet. Okay. Guys, a uh hi. -huh. This, this is mac and cheese, and, and, and this is green bean. That's my favorite. <coughs> Those are all your favorites? Yeah. Oh. I'm just oh, wiping your nose. Boy. I'm just wiping your nose, just doing mom things, because you were at the park running around, remember? Uh-huh. And it's lit, it got a little bit chilly at night, so make your nose a little runny sometimes. Oh, tofu balls. That's an idea. The oven's ready. Oh. 
Good work! I you did it. it! I did it! That was amazing! That's the first time you ever put it in without my hands helping you. I put my fish in tofu! You put the tofu in the oven? All by yourself, like seriously, all by yourself. Wow! Say, Look, see? say watch this, say, I put the tofu in the oven. I put the tofu in the oven. Good job! I love it. Can I see? Can I see? Yep. And you didn't get burned at all? Oh my gosh, okay. Hey, you know what? You officially passed Daddy as a cook. You probably did that a long time ago. <laughs> Everything is almost ready. Just in case any of you are concerned about the tofu situation, I wanted to let you know what I'm gonna do with it. So at this point, it's basically tofu scramble. So I'm going to add nutritional yeast, black pepper, turmeric, and salt. And then she's gonna be tofu scramble. When Tiana is thinking of things in the kitchen that she wants to do, I try to let her explore freely if it's not like people are coming over for dinner or something like that. So I just kind of let her mash up the tofu and put it in balls. And then I figured she'd get distracted eventually. And then I would do something with it that seemed like a little more flavored and edible. Um, but she just has so much fun cooking that I don't want to like dim her creativity. Unless I have to. Sometimes, of course, I have to follow a recipe or like have to make her follow exactly. But tofu, honestly, like you can pour anything on tofu. It'll absorb the flavor and it'll still be good. Here are the final plates. Tofu, scramble, mac and cheese, green beans, and corn. This is like such a simple dinner, but it's all stuff we love. So dinner's ready, everybody. Dinner. We're gonna eat dinner, then pick a movie. So we'll catch up with you for movie time. Mm -hmm.